Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Xenosaga Episode 2. We're on the Il Elsa. Let's, uh... We do... Oh, yeah, we have a, uh, um... Uh, segment address that we have not picked up. Let's go do that. Uh, it's in one of these rooms. I don't remember which one. Alright, does not appear to be this. Hello? Hi, so you finally need some hyper-fertilizer. Great, here, take some! You obtained hyper-fertilizer. Please keep my part-time job secret from the captain. Whatever you say, Kingston. That wasn't a very good robot voice. I'm sorry about that. Well, you know me. I love swimsuits. Yes? There are a wide variety of swimsuits in the world. Yeah, I, I think I have most of them. I don't have Jin's swimsuit yet. If I can get it, actually, now that I think about it, we might not actually be able to get it in the game. Don't recall. Segment address number two decoded! Yes, open. Thank you. What goodies do we get? Secret key 22! That is going to be... Oh, all the way down here. Uh, level 3 Class H Skill Combo Boost. Level 3 Class H Combo Boost. Boost possible even when character icon is showing. Oh. Oh, that would be good. Then I might actually use uh, Boost. Everyone is after my flower seed. Fine, I'll give it to you, but you have to be a little nicer to me. Screw you, bastard. You obtained a spring seed. That's my special treasure, so take good care of it. It's a friggin' seed. Do I need more seeds? I am not sure. A radiant blue flower seed. Let me, uh, let me take a look. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Ah, okay. Do I need to get more hyper fertilizer? Because I have to do this four times. Let's see. Ah, yeah, I do. Okay. Let's go uh, back and talk to Kingston. No, that's the swim two one. All right, so I have one, two, three, four. So I should have four of them now. Yep, four hyper fertilizer. Excellent. All right, then let's uh, head down to the lower level. We've got that uh, battery, so we can uh, should be able to at least attempt the, um, this robot memory thingy again. I bet Captain Matthews told him something weird again. Oh, no. Same thing. I thought it might say where you'd get the second one. Is there something I can do for you? Um, how much power is left in the battery? You can use it five more times. Where can we get a battery? You need a pretty powerful battery to operate this monitor. A vector power battery would be ideal. Ah, okay, just go here. Confirmed remaining battery, uh, power battery charge. Begin droid scan. Begin scan! Beginning droid scan.
Okay, flashing lights, yes. Yes, flashing lights. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Oh, do I have to do this a whole bunch of times? not do anything different. I, uh, disabled the, uh, frame limiter to see if it would speed up at all. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, where is this one? So yeah, this is okay. Um, hmm. It's it's apparently random, even though that time it didn't do anything else. So it'll choose one of these colors. Let's see about turning off the frame limiter. Not that that matters that much. There we go. Okay, so yeah, we can actually use the frame limiter a little bit. Pretty monotonous. Alright, last one. And then we will be out of power. So we will have to go um, recharge this thing, but I'll do that in between episodes. Do we know someone with uh, that kind of magenta colored hair? Oh, come on. I think that's the last charge. Yeah. Alright. Well, I guess we're done there. Alright, now let's go to the Kukai Foundation. to get there, we'll have to go through the Durandal. Is there anything that I need to do on the Durandal? Eh, I'll look, I'll look between episodes. I wonder if safe stating before doing that thing would uh, help any. Ah, nope! Damn it. Wrong thing. Well. Oh, no, uh... I guess we have to, uh, launch with our, uh, ESs. Yeah, I'm, I'm just... Yes, I do. Where do you want to go? Let's go to the Foundation. Do I have to go to Old Milsha and then... choose this thing to get back there? That looks... That looks kind of blurry. <laughs> Got the screen shaking again. Apparently this game does not like me, uh... flying between areas. Oh dear. Huh? Oh, there we go. Okay. Well, you know what? I didn't... Did I? No, I did save it, but oh well. I'll just save again. Wait. It's still shaking. God damn it. There we go. Now it's not shaking, right? Yeah, everything's fine. I don't know why it does that.
But now we can go back to the Kukai Foundation and uh, get started on some more things. Yes, I would like to board. Thank you. Oh, that's right. It's not automatic. I don't know why I thought it was automatic. It's, it hasn't been automatic before, either in the last game or in this one. Figures. Alright. Uh, there's a bunch of things that we can do, so... need to... I think we'll start with going to the, uh fishing area, because I know that there's something there to do. Go to the fishing lab? Yes, indeed. Oh, also, one of my friends pointed out that the sign up there, the Real Dudes Fishing Lab, right above it, the Japanese character uh, characters, it says Men of the Sea. Yes, Men of the Sea. From Xenogears, for those who aren't familiar. Guess what? It was so cool. A weird droid picked up my handkerchief that I dropped in the ocean. He got all wet and asked, and I asked him if he was okay, but he just ran off somewhere in a big hurry. The droid left this behind in the water. Etsuko fixed it, fished it up with a net. Contained to Zaza's clue, too. That nice droid said he was going to second Milsha. If you see him, please thank him for me. I'd, if I'd lost my handkerchief, Mommy would have been mad at me again. Alright, so Zaza's clue, too. It's, uh... Number five, right? Okay. So, are you a uh, man of the sea? You are? Good. You should go, you should go uh, hang out on the Thames. Alright, I know we've got some uh, um, stuff to do here. Let's go to the urban area. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Well... We have some uh, cars to blow up. I'm good with that. So there's a, a chef around here that we can give him the curry recipe. Mm, excuse me. What? You brought a recipe from Chop? Show it to me! Mm. That Chop. I never thought he'd improve this much. Oh, wait. No, this isn't Chop's doing at all. That cafe owner taught him this. Well, he certainly has some impressive ability. But damn that chop, he sure got better since the last time I saw him. It's enough to bring a tear to my eye. I don't get an item for that. God damn it. Alright. Uh, well. I thought I'd get something for that, but no. Go to uh, our treasure. Oh, wait, I can blow those, those up. Didn't actually actually mean to blow up the car there, but I'm good with that. All right, let's see. Second floor, looking for a person named Mallory. the person I was looking for. Don't think this is the exit that I wanted. Are you Mallory? You are Mallory. Maybe. Oh no, I did it again! I lost my wedding ring, red, wedding ring that Mickey gave me! 
Normally I'd panic, but this time things are going to be okay because that ring is the newest kind of vibration ring. Oh, that's still so dirty. That means I can find it easily by using my vibration checker. Don't make a comment, don't make a comment, don't make a comment. The problem with that is Mickey would find out that I lost the ring. Please help me, can you find my wedding ring for me while I keep Mickey distracted? Sure. Oh, I knew you would. Alright, so... Alright. Please find the ring while I keep Mickey distracted, okay? You can now check for ring vibrations. There's some things you need to be careful about when searching for the ring. First, vibration rings are really popular right now, so there are lots of people who have them here on the Foundation. Naturally, there's a lot of people like me who lose things, so the vibration rings dropped by those people are all over the city. Don't bring me someone else's ring by mistake. Next, the vibration checker is a device to check the vibrations that rings put out. Once you've used the vibration checker and marked a ring to, as a match, you can use that vibration checker again. Finally, each vibration ring is set with a unique vibration pattern. Naturally, mine has my own pattern. In other words, I want you to use the vibration checker to find my ring, set it as a match, and then bring it to me. Thanks! It is recommended to use... Oh, warning. It is recommended to use the analog controller's vibration function when searching for the lost ring. To fully enjoy the ring hunt, please set the analog controller's vibration function to on. Vibration is on. Not sure if this will work. <laughs> sure, tell me how to search for the wedding ring. Uh, let's ask about the vibration pattern. <laughs> I think my, I think my controller is supposed to be vibrating there. <laughs> well, um, hmm. Uh, good thing I know exactly where the ring is. <laughs> vibration pattern I set feels like that. Good luck and thank you! Now, this might just be something that I haven't turned on in the emulator or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but, uh... Yeah... This is a thing. Well, let's go get it. Actually, not sure how to, uh... That wasn't quite what I meant to do, but okay. I I wonder if, like, as I walk around, the uh, controller is just supposed to vibrate when I get near one or something. I don't know. I think I need to go back here. Thank you for blowing that up for me. Yeah, there wasn't so there wasn't a person back here before. I don't think. I'm the architect who built the statue in this district. What? You're investigating the problem with that statue? I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to keep it a secret. Here's a blueprint. If you take it to any research facili facility, you should be able to figure out the trick. Figure the trick out. Please forgive me. You obtained the statue blueprint. I gave you the blueprint for the statue. If you check it, you'll be able to figure out the trick to that statue. Okay. Alright, let's go up here. Alright, so where am I looking? Right side in front of the cabinet. Right side in front of the cabinet. Yes, I, I think that uh, my controller was supposed to be vibrating there. The vibration checker is reacting. What would you like to do? Uh, register it as the matching ring and pick it up. Once you pick up a ring, the vibration checker will cease functioning. You will not be able to search for rings anymore. Are you sure? Yes. You obtained a wedding ring. Okay. 
So now we need to take that back. Let me see if there's anything else that I can do here. Um, Alright, someone here that we can talk to about... Her? How about her? No, oh, I guess this is a, it's after I accept the quest. Okay. Which I might not actually be able to do yet. Maybe I'll skip that one. Um... I see something about uh, another one back in the Art Treasure Inn, so uh, I guess we can go back there. So much running around. Do you anything? Set, do I know the professor? Oh, that old man who lived beneath the weapon shop? He suddenly packed up his factory and left. I didn't really know him that well, but that old man was really brilliant. Even that brute king was friendly to that old man. Well, he only talked to him about maintenance on his car, though. Alright, let's go give this into Mallory first. I believe this is your ring? Oh yes, that's it! The proof of our love! Seriously. Y you people scare me sometimes. Thank you! I'm afraid this is all I have to give you in return, though. You obtained Secret Key 17! This key opens a level 3 Class F skill at Break B15. Well, let's go take a look at that one. Break B15. Break bonus chance plus 15%. Um, well, I've already unlocked everything else here, and this is a, a static skill that just, uh, you buy it and it starts affecting you, so let's get it. Downstairs, I believe there's someone else that will start a uh, quest. Let's see. No, I have not talked to Kramer. That's not what I want. Wait, is it not on the first floor? Second floor. My bad. Kid did say second floor, but uh, I thought I read that the that he was on the first floor. Are you Kramer? Oh, you've come at a good. I should totally give him the voice of Kramer from Seinfeld, but I can't do a imitation of that. Oh, you've come at a good time. My shoulders are all worn out from wiping windows. How about doing a little window wiping? You'll get paid, of course. I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? Accepting the job of window wiping means challenging my record. Oh, good God. Shoot me now. It takes about two minutes to clean nine windows, so I'm gonna place the same time limit on you. Let me know when you're ready. games. Let's start wiping windows. Are you ready? Sure. When you get next to a window, listen to what I say carefully before you begin. The 
Stand in front of a dirty window and press circle. Instructions will come up, so follow them. You have two minutes. Ready, start. Go. Once you press circle to close the message window, slowly rotate the right analog stick clockwise four times to clean the window. You know, game, you don't have to give me this message every single time. And it only gives me that sound uh, when I, like, first succeed or something like that. That is a weird sound. We're having a top-of-the-line battle android wipe window. On the other hand, she's pretty amazing because she can stand in one place and do a sim simple circle and uh, it cleans the entire window. That's it! Damn right that's it. Okay, good work! Can I just, like, blow you all up now? I have to say, I'm impressed. Many have challenged me at window wiping, but no one ever broke the two-minute mark. I promised I'd pay- Well, see, it feels like we're cheating now. We had a top-of-the-line battle android do it. I promised I'd pay you, so here you are. I picked up- I picked it up when I went to King's Hideout. I didn't have the courage to use it, though. <laughs> Obtained a king's key. I'm gonna try to beat your record now. Yeah, good luck with that. Is that all I got? Um, I guess I go to King's place then. Don't even talk to me about Kramer, little kid. I am so done with him. Just want to blow things up. There we go. Kicked apart some uh, um, dumpsters. I I think the uh, um, at lower step uh, doesn't quite look right. <laughs> All right, where do we get to use the key? Um, all right, the red button. I think we've already broken all of these. So. Yeah. Oh, I can't break the uh, the motorcycles. Okay. Input the password. Please input the password. Oh. Password is incorrect. All right, where are you? Oh, wedding ring. A ring filled with the love from Mickey to Mallory. Curry recipe, Chops Ultimate Curry recipe, Power Battery, a rechargeable battery made by Vector Industries, a Radiant Blue Flower Seed, uh, that was five, Facility Key, Key to the Power Distribution, oh, I think we've seen that, Water Tank A Key, we have not looked at that one, Key to the Second Milsha Waterworks, Water Tank A, 
Still can't believe that they uh, gave that to us. Uh, statue blueprint. Blueprint for the stone statue on the foundation that Janet was looking for. King's Key. Key to King's secret storage. Number 1857 is written on. Ah. Swimsuit made from the biofiber from bio fibers to prevent drowning. The robot print on the back is amazing. We have read that one, but sad to do it again. All right, 1857. Please input the password. Okay. Uh, let's see, 1857. Releasing the lock. Thank you. What do we get for our trouble? No, sir, I haven't done anything. I just... Huh? Oh, you're not King. You startled me. Man, I snuck in here without knowing it was actually King's hideout. Did you ever want... Did you wander in here by accident, too? I know a secret passage. Want me to tell you about it? Please tell me. Okay, leave it to me. Um... Okay. Oh, hello. Required skill upgrade D times five. Is that it? That is it. Okay. Hello. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Grow some hair. Alright. I guess that's uh, it here. This doesn't seem like a uh, return to King's hideout. I guess. Doesn't seem like much of a secret passage. I mean, I'm assuming that it's just up those stairs. But who knows? Alright. When we come back, we will uh, do some more of these uh, side quests. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll still be here or if I'll go back to uh, one of the other places. Uh, I need to uh, check to see what else we have to do here kind of thing. Uh, anyway, we'll see you all in the next episode.